And this year's Tango World Championships in Buenos Aires has boasted its most multicultural flavor ever with a record number of foreign participants. More than 41 couples from, its, from as far afield as Russia, Italy and South Korea made it to the finals of the salon event. Now, leading to the foreign invasion is Shirley Xu, the Tango World Championships' first ever Chinese contestant. Tango is recognized as UNESCO cultural heritage and is the crux of Argentine culture, so it may seem a surprising choice for a Chinese native. Shirley Xu is the only individual Chinese contestant in the competition. She's also the 10th best stage tango dancer in the world, an honor she earned in last year's competition. From Beijing to Buenos Aires, Xu has endured the more than 30-hour journey to be immersed in the birthplace of the famous dance and to compete in one of its biggest events, the 2014 Tango World Championship. When you go to a milonga, it doesn't matter if you don't know the other person. You don't need to talk, it's just a look, and then you start to dance. Then after one dance, the two strangers have connected. They begin talking. It is all very natural. I think it is great for the social lives of the Chinese people. The Beijing native only discovered tango five years ago thanks to a flyer posted by a group of visiting Argentines offering classes. The 29-year-old is China's tango cultural ambassador and the founder and chairwoman of the Chinese Association of Argentine Tango in Beijing. She is hoping to use her growing fame as a platform to extend tango scope in China, where the art form is still relatively new. Her efforts have seen the first translated tango book hit the shelves in her homeland, and she is in the developing stages of making the first ever Chinese tango-themed film. Last year, China became the second country outside of Argentina to host its own tango world competition and milongas can now be seen popping up throughout the nation's largest cities. As an aspect that Ambassador of Culture for China in Buenos Aires credits to Xu. The people really like it, not only to just go and watch, but they want to dance as well. Young people are really getting involved. When they've had a rough day at work, they're using tango to unwind, to de-stress, and some are using it as a sport as well. There is this desire to spread tango to the larger cities, so these tango enthusiasts can have a place to go and dance, to have fun, but also to learn about tango culture. She isn't the only foreigner here. In this year's 12th edition of the competition, more than 574 couples from 37 countries are represented. From Australia to Egypt, the Philippines to Russia, Argentine tango has truly gone global. Gustavo Mozzi, the artistic director of the championship, has been in his role for six years. He says every year has seen increased international enthusiasm for tango and in contest itself generating a new age of tango dancers. Tango is this feeling. It promotes dialogue and creates this fluidity of cultures. For example, in the past we have seen it welcomed greatly in Paris. And most importantly, tango is a composition that binds and blends all cultures. But a Chinese dancer doesn't view her cultural background as a shortcoming. She says she knows she will never be able to dance the tango truly like an Argentine, and she doesn't try to. Instead, she says she embraces her Chinese roots and understands it is her interpretation of the dance that will make her unique. The music comes from inside of you. When you are dancing, your body and the music are one. Your body can feel the rhythm. Your mind is completely free. The music moves you. When you dance tango salon, you don't need to think. You just feel the music. It becomes intuitive. It is amazing. I'm sure people might say, what are you talking about? I don't understand, but this is what I feel. But South America is showing no signs of losing its grip on its favorite dance. At the finals of the all-important salon category on Monday, it was a couple from Uruguay and Argentina, which both claimed to be the birthplace of tango that won. That gives you another year to train for the title. CCTV.